Alright, welcome back to the channel, or if you are new to the channel, welcome. Today, we're going to be starting a brand new series, and that is... You. You. Um, so we finished Stranger Things, we finished The Boys, End of an Era, but now we are starting You. I'm not really sure what this show is about, if I'm being honest. Like, I have, like, a rough idea. I'm pretty sure it's about, like, this dude stalking this girl or something like that, but since he's, like, attractive, it's, it's Riz, and it's not, like, weird or anything like that. I don't know some shit like that i don't know it's something like that so i think i'm gonna post this um, twice a week maybe i'm thinking twice a week as of right now but maybe we'll see we'll see i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that will be available on patreon as well early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on patreon so let's get started well hello there hmm. who are you Based on your vibe, <laughs> hey Jangle, you oh bite god. a little attention. Okay. Oh god. I bite. Guest for Stephen King. Who will you buy? Bro, why is he dissecting her entire personality? Like you're embarrassed to be a good girl, and you murmur your first word to me. Hello. Do you work here? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> if Dan Brown's your kink, then be out about it. Fuck yeah. Asshole. Whoa. <laughs> Mina, I'm in a hurry. <sighs> to buy Salinger to feel respectable when all he really wants to do is eat Cheetos and jerk it to eye porn before washing it all down with a Dan Brown chaser. Have a nice day, sir. This, fool, this guy's good at reading people, it seems like. <laughs> you know, she was uh, Courtney Love's maternal grandmother. That's why I'm buying it. Yeah, see, that's the difference right there. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. To cover this, but you want me to know your name. Guinevere? Yeah. Bro, I, I feel like he's overthinking it. I don't know. And you're Joe? Goldberg. Joe Goldberg. Everyone. Aren't you going to tell me to have a nice day? You have a nice day, Beck. Hope you get hit by a car. Okay, not really. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. At the end of the day, people are really just disappointing, aren't they? But are you, Beck? No, no, he's going to stalk her, huh? Yes. People find the one i believe that i try to stay open i gave up on that i should have seen the signs mm -hmm. but we never do when we're in love thanks claudia and ron they're arguing right now i think she knew ron was a shitbag when she fell in love oh hell no hell no she fell in love with him then found out he works at the gas station <laughs> the only life she ruined Kind of been cool enough? Yeah, Mom and Ron are just talking. You are burning through that book, aren't you? Yeah, what's all, what, what else is he going to do when his parents argue? You know, I just got this meatball sub, but I remembered I have Thai from last night. Aw. My mom will just make me something later. That's a shame. This won't keep. It's getting tossed. You sure, Take the food. Take the food. He's offering because he feels bad. The point, Beck. Love is tricky a guy needs to protect himself i had to be sure you're safe oh he had to be sure okay place to start not a lot of guinevere becks he wants to make sure you're safe so yeah he's doing his research now the public you want to be seen known of course i obliged born and raised nantucket island god damn. he's just finding out everything about her your dad dropped out of the picture Went to Brown, where you majored in lit. Yep. Barely. Too busy living out moments you won't remember five years from now. I know this because you post about this life all the goddamn time. <laughs> Candidly, it's the least appealing thing about you, Beck. Yeah. Didn't mention that cute guy in the bookstore. And then I realized your online life isn't real. It's a... It's, it's a facade. If anything, the fact that you didn't share me with your followers only confirms we really connected our little friend the internet gave me was your address oh now he's just gonna be casually walking outside you know jesus it's like you've never seen a horror movie or the news to be fair dude when you meet someone you everyone looks at their social media everyone looks at their instagram and everything to see like what they're doing you know try and get the best idea of who they are everyone does that but it seems like joe's going a little bit deeper than most people are like he's noticing things most people should not notice unless you know more to you 
Let's find out. Oh no. Okay. By 10, you're at campus to TA a romantics class and play Vanna White to some- Oh, he knows her entire schedule now. Wants to fuck you. You're smart, you, you let him think one day he might. And what's the harm in that, right? To get a better grade. Can we get real for a second? You have questionable taste in friends, Beck. You- Mm-hmm. Red flag. Well, they've got nothing to do after this, so yeah, they'll party till five and scrape it together tomorrow. So, sounds condescending. You know I'd do anything for you. Is that the best friend you've got? If so, Beck, you really are alone. Aw, oh, that's sad. Hmm. Bro, she's gonna notice him. Thanks. Oh, her date's here. Wow. Oh, he's gonna get jealous. Uh, Beck, who the fuck is this? <laughs> what, is that like an ex-boyfriend or something? Yeah, okay, they're arguing. It's an ex, yeah. On you getting your dick sucked by some random woman in a bathroom at a party that I took you to. Yeah, bro. Okay, so, Beck, if you know that, why is he even here? Why did you even let him in? Why are you even entertaining this conversation? Coke, and I've been seriously stressed. I don't give a f Get out. Get out. Leave me alone. I don't care. It turns out it's 16-hour lectures on microbial management. I don't feel bad for you. I don't care. And why America has to keep drinking crap that's giving him cancer. You actually managed to connect your illicit blowjob to curing cancer. That's sad. Watch, Beck let him in because they're going to hate fuck right now. Insane. <laughs> yep. Way to go, Ooh. Beck. Looks like a catch. Yeah, Beck, what are you doing? Come on. You're better than this. Oh, we gotta stalk him now. Not to sound judgy, but this guy is everything wrong with America. You fall for the wrong men. Bad men. Bro, that's the that's the point. Dude, you're... <sighs> Bro, nice guys are boring. This guy, this guy gives her the highs and the lows of every emotion. Because he didn't. It looks like Ryan Gosling, but like, not really. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm on my way, bro. You guys ordering pizzas? Such a douche. <sighs> Come on, Beck. What, is Joe gonna, like, kill him or something? Like, how crazy is Joe, actually, you know? Like, he's already stalking her. But how far does he go? Oh, my God. So you didn't finish. <laughs> And now he's gonna be dedicated to making her finish. Bro, what do you mean? No girl ever finishes. <laughs> nah, he's not actually there. This is his fantasy right now. Cause he's stuck, he's like watching her do all that. Yeah, now he's like obsessed with like, dude, he's just jerking it in public. But he's like obsessed with like making her finish now. Oh my God. Oh, don't touch her back with that hand. I suppose you can help me get a cat, can you? Sure. Sure, let me try and cover for what I was just doing. Now watch, he's gonna be obsessed with trying to make her finish. Wow. Don't oh. tell me you're finished already. Oh. oh, his parents are fucking. That's the cycle. I was hoping we could go get another one. Aw. Be the father figure he doesn't have. Ugh, something's in the air tonight, Beck, because everyone but me is getting a hexion. Come on, I'll show you where we keep the good stuff. Careful, Joseph. Ooh. When it comes to the value of a book, it's all about condition. Ah, uh, seeing himself. Yep, telling him exactly what he learned. Always keep books upright so the spines don't become rolled or warped or what we call cocked. Always towards the spine. Under no circumstances is there any sunlight. Yeah, so it seems like he's very detail-oriented, and he learned it from Mr. Mooney right here. And now he applies it to, like, stalking and figuring out information about women. So they need people like us to protect them. Is that how he, like, validates what he's doing? Chivalry. It's treating people with respect, especially women. Like men should. Mm-hmm. I probably shouldn't take this home. It's not a first edition, it's just an old one. Besides, yeah. I trust you. Teach him young. Teach him how to res treat people with respect. I'm sorry, but he was out here and he could hear everything in there. Did you tell me how to parent? <laughs> Look, this old nice guy, this is my work. Shitbag who beats women, so please enlighten me. Yeah. 
So stay away from Paco because if you don't, I'm gonna grab a steak knife and I'm gonna cut those freak eyes out. No, you won't. And why I have to do what I'm about to do. Fun fact. Did you oh, wait, know no. the law requires <gasps> gas leaks to be investigated? No, he, oh, he, okay. The door open again. I, I thought we said we weren't gonna do that anymore. I was careful to call the gas company on a day when you had a full schedule. I wouldn't want to. Wow. Yeah, and he, he called the gas company so he could get in. So he could get into the house. So he can get into the apartment. I just need to know who you really are. Oh. Besides, when we live together, your place won't be a pigsty. <laughs> when we live together. <laughs> and you won't eat all this frozen shit. I'll cook for you every day. Dude, he's a simp. And do your laundry. No, bro, put that back. I've been honestly working every day. Oh no, she's gonna fuck the professor. The pass. But you wouldn't be here. Please, Professor Lay. Oh, first name basis, oh yeah. Happy to discuss further. If we're gonna seriously discuss poetry, it should be over a drink. Oh my god. Pop I love. <sighs> Would your wife feel about you? About me looking out an aspiring writer? She's She's used to my generosity. Oh, okay. So your wife knows you cheat on her. All right. P.S. I can still smell you on my fingers. Yeah, her douchebag mm -hmm. boyfriend or whatever. None of this matters because of my second and greatest discovery. Oh, just met a human male who actually reads. Oh. It's finally time for me to date someone good for me. Wow. Thank you for letting me know I wasn't <laughs> crazy after all. No, bro, you are fucking crazy. What do you mean? Oh, I can't report him. That's not how it works. I'm not worried. I've seen enough romantic comedies to know guys like me are always getting in jams like this. No, bro. That's not how the world works. <laughs> Oh, fuck, what are you gonna do? She's gonna open that curtain. Bro, she's not wondering why the sound of the water is not, isn't hitting the fucking tub. Hmm. I guess we're going to Greenpoint. <laughs> Bro. I never go to Greenpoint, but the things you do for love, right? So I was already in love with her. I mean, duh. Hold on, one second. Oh, is he gonna run into her here? Make it seem natural? And that peach is the worst. Oh wait, no, he doesn't want to be noticed by her. Go. Oh. Who do you keep texting? So I invited Benji back. <sighs> he was coming? He texted a row of smile emojis like 45 minutes ago. Some guys are assholes and you just have to realize that. I mm -hmm. Rise to answer the door, but he's not you. And you cannot answer it no matter how far in you go. So far, I feel like he's been pretty disappointed by her. But this probably impressed him. Poems about him. You still write poems about him. You're writing. Oh no, he feels bad for her. That's what it is. Just so sad. Aww. Things might be nice. I think everyone agrees. Dude. She's gonna go save her. Take a second to find where it was. I can't stand seeing this. I'm sorry. Yeah, he feels bad. Most of all, men like Benji, what all those have in common is they will never love you. Mm-hmm. Everything. It's crazy the lengths we go. We're, we're a lot alike, Beck. <laughs> <laughs> I was considering this with my new friend, Mr. Batshit Homeless Guy, when the second luckiest thing this week happened. <gasps> oh, now they're gonna organically meet. It feels like I'm dreaming. I'm not. Becky, Bro, too drunk to be alone. What, what if some sicko had followed you down here? Yeah, well, I mean... You hold that phone like it is Benji, because it's your only means to stay connected. Yep. Forget Benji. And to hell with that phone. <gasps> oh, <laughs> shit. No way. Bro, you have to go and save her, bro. Save her. Save her, bro. Shut up! Give me your hand. <laughs> bro, the train's coming. Give him your... I mean, she's drunk, but, like... Dude, no, dude, this she's gonna die and like that train's too close. She's gonna die and this is this is fake. This is fake. Oh, oh wow, great landing guys. Great landing. Wow, what a true love story. <laughs> and I kinda ruined the moment. <laughs> Oh my god, I am so sorry. No, it's fine, it's fine. It's all good. I'm obsessed with you, so it's all good. I really am sorry. That actually really turned me on. <laughs> I'm not always like this. 
Oh, he knows. He knows how you are. He's done his research. Hey, I don't want to sound like a stalker, but <laughs> I think I know you. Oh. She doesn't even remember him that well. Village, you anywhere close? Ride with me. It's the least I can do. After one essential truth, which is if your IQ is above a certain number, life is pretty much unbearable and the number is not even that high. Mm-hmm. I do think I'd be happier if I was stupider. Ignorance is bliss. How do you know I write poetry? Mm -hmm. She caught you. Doesn't every young writer right. really write? Oh, good save, good yeah, save. Trand, Sexton, Meryl. You're describing my nights. <sighs> yeah, he literally is. <laughs> what was your last name with him? Goldberg. Mm, she's, gonna, she's gonna look him up now. I left for a little while, chasing a girl. Broke his heart. And I'm not a good chaser. <laughs> This is everything you wanted right here. Just to be there for her, you know, be that good guy she so desperately needs. And for saving my life. No, I didn't. I didn't save your life. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you pretty, yeah, you really did. Like if you weren't there and she fell, she, she would have died. Kiss her, oh my God. Oh, this, God. Oh, and of course. Vanjie's gonna be like, who the fuck is this? Babe, I told you people are basically good. It's a great job, bro. Mm. Bro. You waste of hair. <laughs> Maybe I can get your info. Yeah. Oh. Um, shit. My phone. No. Oh, she never picked it up. I dropped it in the subway. Oh. Damn. I'll go get it. I'm basically enslaved to email. Ah, uh, that's a curve. I'm practically a stranger. Can't be too careful. Yeah. It's back in real life at gmail.com. Except in the ways you are really not. Like, not like. Oh, he has her phone. All right. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't lock it. Like, she didn't lock her laptop. What you really need is someone to save you. <laughs> Peck. Let me help you. No, don't be Mr. Save a Ho, bro. You. <sighs> it never works out. You're, you're, you're just going to drive yourself insane, and you literally already are insane. You know, Pac, I can't talk to you. I'm, I'm going back. I'm going to my apartment. Oh no, what'd you do? He came home drunk. Oh no, he hit you? He started yelling. Saying I thought I was smart reading oh. my books and looking at him like he's dumb. What happened? Did he hurt you? No, he didn't touch me. No, he ruined the book. Oh, that that's too far. <gasps> I tried to stop him. Paco. Paco. It's okay. Dude, for some reason, Joe strikes me as a type of guy who's like, who's like casually just a brown belt in jujitsu. <laughs> so you know, the first step to fixing something is to know no matter how destroyed it seems, mm. it can always be saved. Polyvinyl acetate glue means no What do you think will mean? No offense. We discussed it. Oh. The product has one clear face at the beginning. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I mean, Benji is a dickhead, so like, we already knew that. You gotta be precise and use exactly the force needed. Mm. Hey! Hey, man. Jeff. <gasps> oh my. <laughs> I can't. Bro, Benji doesn't even remember him? Oh my god. It's not even. Yeah, I mean, like, just some random dude in a cab. Why would you remember, I guess? I mean, what is this like a two days later, a day later? It's not. I mean, I'd, I feel like I would remember him, remember his face. All right. Oh, is Benji gonna kill him or something? I mean, is Joe gonna kill him or something? Get him out of Beck's life, make it easier for him, you know? To the left. So sus. <laughs> Jesus, he's killing him. He's killing him. Hey, man, I'm thinking maybe. <gasps> oh! Psycho. You told your girlfriends you'd come by. I know this because I have your phone. <laughs> and I'm sorry for uh, running off the other. You had a guest. Hardly. Mm. Well, what do you mean hardly? I know exactly who that is. We already have in jokes. So. We're basically there. We're basically married. 
We could get a drink sometime. Mm. Sure. Oh, but I still can't find my phone. I know. Email. That's right. Oh my god, he remembered. Oh my god. I'm not always right. I'm human. I make mistakes. <laughs> You'll see. Oh, I've seen. Downstairs. Can you um can you watch the register? Oh no, Benji. <sighs> And trapped him in that cage. Bro, you have to kill him now. He knows your face. He knows what you did. You have to kill him. Whatever you think I did, you got the wrong. I feel like he's going to kill him like Dexter style. The show kind of reminds me of Dexter. I don't. <laughs> okay. RP Nick. All right. Well, that was you. It was a little bit different than what I expected. I mean, like, I did, yeah, he was a stalker, and that's what I expected. But I thought he had just, like, but I thought he was just going to have, like, the most riz of all time. But, like, nah, he's kind of a stupid. He's a simp. He's a simp, you know? I thought he was just going to be super smooth with it and everything. I mean, like, yeah, he is pretty smooth. He was pretty smooth at times, but I thought he was going to just be, like, you know, like, he was just going to give off riz we've never seen before. <laughs> But yeah, he's very obsessed about Beck after meeting her just one time. You know, Joe's a very complicated character. He reminds me of myself. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, that's a joke. I'm kidding. All right. Well, that was you. Episode one. Oh, wait. I didn't get a thumbnail. Okay. Okay. There we go. Got the thumbnail. Cool. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Um, well, okay. I'm not really sure how I feel about this show. If I'm being all, if I'm being honest, because like half of me is like kind of rooting for him, but like not really. Like the part of me that's rooting for him is like <sighs> surface level. He seems like a really good guy, you know, who would be a really good match for Beck. Like he he wants to treat her well. I guess you know he wants to treat her well. And she's stuck in this relationship with this douchebag Benji who already cheated on her. So, like, you know, Beck needs to have some boundaries for herself and realize that, like, no, look, it's okay to be alone and, and break up with him because there's no... Because if he cheated on you once, they're going to do it again, okay? If you if they cheat on you and you take them back, that you're basically telling them, hey, it's okay if you do it again, you know? Because I'm just going to forgive you if you do it again or whatever, right? Because she has such a strong attachment to Benji. Me, I mean, like, it could be that, or she just comes. She seems like she's super, like, she seems like she's pretty needy, and she just wants someone in her life. But because she's lonely, like, I honestly think until you're comfortable with being alone and being by yourself, you won't know if you're choosing someone out of love or loneliness. And so I think she's choosing Benji because she's just she's lonely, and it's like, well, he's already, like, he's already here. You know what I mean? I don't know. I think that. If your partner cheats on you, it's over. That, that's end of a relationship, no matter what. Because that's just like a boundary that should never be crossed. No matter what. Unless there's, unless it's literally one of those things, oh, would you cheat on them for a million dollars? Well, it's a million dollars, bro. <laughs> I don't have a million dollars, okay? That's, you know, that's like the only exception. And obviously, Joe recognizes that. He sees that, okay, J Benji's a piece of shit whatever and i can make her life so much better like he's a simp dude he's a simp <laughs> and he's a very extreme simp you know very extreme like he's going out he's watching he's stalking her all day figuring out as much as he possibly can like as soon as he got her full name boom found her instagram boom found out so much more information just based off her instagram be careful what you post on your instagram guys be very careful what you post you know, be careful of like lo what location you tag at the top and everything like what like what you're wearing and everything like that. Like that could give away so much information of where you live. I mean, like thinking about it, like, yeah, I've done that. Like I've worn articles of clothing that kind of get well, kind of gives away where I live, but like not really. It's like the general area, you know, like the city I'm in. That's kind of it. I mean, I don't think that's that bad, but hey. But yeah, I probably shouldn't do that again. <laughs> and you know, Joe seems like a very detail-oriented guy based off like what Mooney told him about the books and everything, like all the little details about it. And he seems like a very obsessive person too. He's very obsessive about who he's interested in and, and books. So, I mean, like, I feel like what he's doing in the show kind of, like, to an extent, everyone kind of does, you know? Like, 
when anybody meets somebody new, yeah, they'll go on their Instagram and see what they can find out about them, I guess. You know, see if they know anyone you know or whatever. Like, yeah, it's pretty fucking creepy, but like, obviously in the show, it's exaggerated a lot more than like what happens in like reality. But at the same time, I'm sure people in, re I'm sure, I'm sure plenty of people in real life do what he's doing. It's been a while since you were on the channel. What, what? <gasps> Say hi. Say hi. <sighs> but yeah, like I'm sure people in real life do the same thing he's doing, you know, like they, they go to the length and the effort of finding out as much as they can, which is pretty fucking scary, so. Be careful what you post. Like, he's a very charismatic guy. Like, besides the stalking, he, he seems like a pretty solid dude. Kinda. <laughs> and, like, it seems like he truly wants the best for Beck and he wants to give her that life. He went as far as to kidnap Benji to take, her, take him out of her life. So, you know, he could give her a better life than he ever could. I don't know, like, half of me is, like, kinda rooting for him to get the girl. It's like, not not the stalking half not not that part obviously it's like the part where he's like the part that he portrays himself to beck you know he seems like a good dude he wants the best for her that part is kind that part like i'm like kind of rooting for him like you know like that 50 50 but but like not really so i don't know this is a weird show dude this is a weird show i don't know but the show is just really showing you how far some people are willing to go how crazy some people are you know you know but in like his eyes he sees himself as like the hero who's gonna come save back or whatever from all these awful men and stuff like that and it's gonna make her life better you know it's about perspective <laughs> from a certain point of view he's a hero and he's willing to do whatever it takes to save her but no in reality he's a fucking creep i mean it's kind of funny how like the books kind of talk about like what he believes in too like he like he told the kid read this book it's about chivalry you know everything how to respect people how to respect women you know and in, and in his head that's what he thinks he's doing you know he's like respecting her and everything he's gonna be the most respectful man she's ever met or whatever but he doesn't realize how far he's going with it and like how creepy and fucked up it is what he's doing i don't know the show kind of reminds me of like dexter honestly I don't know why, you know, how there's like two sides to him, you know, kind of, I don't know. It's not really like Dexter, but it's not like Dexter at all, but it just kind of like gives me that like vibe. But like the thing is, he's a psycho and he's going to be, I feel like he's going to be super sweet to this girl and everything. And then the problem is though, he's going to be too nice to her. He's going to be too perfect. And then she's not going to want him anymore. I mean, like, that sounds backwards, but like, think about it, dude. When a guy's like way too nice, you know, he puts the woman over himself it gets him stepped all over you know and then that's i feel like they're gonna fall in love or whatever and then they're gonna be cool for a bit and then it's gonna kind of start leaning towards that you know and she's gonna start disrespecting him and then he's really gonna tweak on her and really become a psycho with it you know and like they're not gonna date right away you know she's still gonna kind of like do some stuff and it's just gonna it's just gonna ick him and he's gonna end up chasing her and he's gonna chase her super hard and then she and like she might fall for him in the beginning but then it's gonna slowly phase out and she's not really gonna like him as much down the road and then he's gonna tweak and he seems like a very jealous person you know and so she's gonna do little things that like like a rational person wouldn't really think much of but he's gonna tweak over them i already know it that's my guess so but all right that was episode one of you comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching